cause an unsafe drop in blood pressure. Do not drink alcohol in excess. Side effects may include headache, upset stomach, delayed backache, or muscle ache. To avoid long-term injury, get medical help right away for an erection lasting more than four hours. If you have any sudden decrease or loss in hearing or vision, or any symptoms of an allergic reaction, stop taking Cialis and get medical help right away. Ask your doctor about Cialis for daily use and the free 30-tablet trial. Dave's got Aziz Ansari, comedian Brian Kiley, and the top 10 tonight. Next Friday. To solve a case. You shoot a cop, you shoot a brother. A game of good cop, bad cop. Come on, bad cop, worst cop. Goes too far. Get out! Police! Reagan! 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 Cops have to be held to a higher standard. New Blue Blood, CBS Next Friday. From Northern Michigan's news leader, this is 9 and 10 News at 11 in high definition. We start off with a live look into Sault Ste. Marie with our Doppler 9 and 10 Skycam. It's been another chilly, wintry day across Northern Michigan. A few flurries have picked up across Northern Michigan, but what's in store for this weekend? Doppler 9 and 10 Chief Meteorologist Tom O'Hare has your weekend forecast in tonight's first weather at 11. Tom? Well, thank you, Courtney. Tonight, tomorrow, really not a whole lot going on this Weak system is pushing through. Might see an inch or so in spots, but at least it is going to help keep the temperatures up later on tonight. And tomorrow, about average 20s, low 30s, isolated snowfall. That's about it. Wind's not an issue. But going into Sunday, there is another system we'll be watching, really impacting areas around Cadillac Southbound, perhaps a couple inches. The farther north you are, more sunshine, but very cold temperatures. That's something we'll detail in the full forecast. It's very upsetting to take advantage of a child, any student. The feelings of many in Houghton Lake after a former school aide was arrested, accused of having a sexual relationship with a student. The rumors revolving around Andrew Gronsky and an 11th grade girl are not new. The school says there were complaints of an inappropriate relationship between the two last school year. An internal investigation by Houghton Lake High School and the Intermediate School District turned up nothing then, but rumors resurfaced this school year about possible sexual contact. The school and district caught wind of the situation. That's when it was handed over to the sheriff's department and a criminal investigation began. Deputies arrested Gronsky and he's now charged with several sex crimes. The sheriff's department says this relationship has gone on for about a year. It started as a friendship when the girl was only 15 and escalated from there. Many are questioning why this inappropriate relationship wasn't discovered earlier. I know that it may sound like we allowed something to happen for a year, but in hindsight, there was nothing that was reportable at the initial state. Certainly something that we're not happy to hear. When the second complaint arose, um, we knew that we were in a much more serious situation than the previous. The principal believes this is an isolated incident and the victim was not the student Gronsky was assigned to help. Gronsky was an employee of the Crawford, Oscoda, Ogama, and Roscommon ISD, but has since resigned. He will appear in court next month. Well, there was a rash-like illness, and so we want to take every precaution to make sure that it's not a communicable disease. A possible case of the measles makes its way to northern Michigan. Concern sparked when a teacher spotted a rash on a student. From there, she notified the administration, and now the child is out of school and precautions are being taken. As soon as Baldwin Community Schools learned of the rash, they notified parents. That student has since been tested for measles. However, those results won't be back for several more days. This possible case is of extra concern as a measles outbreak Starting at Disneyland in California has spread to 14 states. The health department is pushing for people who haven't been vaccinated to do so and soon. The best thing you can do prevent it, to prevent it is to get vaccinated. Um, because like I said before, it could the, if somebody coughs in a room that has measles, it'll linger in the air for up to two hours. The student will be out of school until the results come back. Another day of witness testimony in Wexford County. Jurors learning more about the shooting death of Lindsey Morgan at the hands of Eric Beauchamp. Both the prosecution and the defense agree Beauchamp killed Morgan, but they disagree on whether it was a planned attack. The case started with a 911 call about a suicidal man in Buckley. About one hour later, Morgan was dead. Forensic scientists say Beauchamp used the barrel of a shotgun to push through a bathroom door in the home. 
Morgan and her children were hiding on the other side. At one point, witnesses say the struggle moved outside, and that's where Morgan was shot and killed. Witness Joe Trailer says his relationship with Morgan, coupled with alcoholism, child custody, and money issues, led up to the fight. He says Lindsay came to his house the night before asking for protection. You know why she wanted a firearm? She was afraid that Eric was going to show up with a gun. She was scared. The suspected murder weapon was shown to the jury today. Investigators say five shots were fired in the house. Never once did he say, oh, I hurt. Never once did he say, you know, why is this happening to me? Why, you know, never. A local little boy loses his battle with a rare form of brain cancer, but leaves a lasting impression on everyone who knew him. Tonight, we're sad to report that eight-year-old Ethan Woodica passed away earlier this week. We've been following his story since last fall. Too sick to leave his Mount Pleasant home, Ethan's courage in the face of adversity started a movement called Ethan's Army. Thousands of people from all over the world sent him gifts and well wishes. His Facebook page has more than 7,000 likes and counting. Friends, neighbors, and relatives remember Ethan as an inspiration to everyone he encountered. He made huge differences in everybody's life from all over the world. The chain reaction is so awesome, and you look at that and you think, wow, this little eight-year-old boy did this. If you'd like to pay your respects, we've posted details on how you can do that on our website, 9in10news.com. The ultimate choice is at Art Van Pure Sleep. Enjoy the pressure-relieving comfort of Tempur-Pedic's proprietary foam or the craftsmanship and luxury of Stearns & Foster, America's leading inner spring, both at the lowest price anywhere. You can save up to $500, plus get no interest for 50 months with a free big-screen TV and free delivery at any of our 86 Pure Sleep stores or at Art Van Furniture. Children, the apples of our eyes and the joy in our hearts. Preparing for life's unexpected moments can't happen. Protecting them through the unexpected can. Life insurance provides protection that secures dreams even when we can't be there. Life insurance is love insurance. Share the love with someone you care for and talk to your local Farm Bureau insurance agent today. More people choose Ford F-Series to help run their lives, run their construction crews, their farms, even run away. And f 150 is the truck that helps you run on all cylinders. That's why Ford F-Series has been America's best-selling truck 38 years running. And with one sold about every 43 seconds, you guessed it, they're running out fast. Now get an F-150 with up to $82.50 in total savings. That's right, $82.50 on a new F-150. Only at your neighborhood Michigan Ford dealer. From one of TV's hottest shows. How to get away with murder. Murder. Viola Davis. Next, Ellen, she shows off her acting skills. Lice. Uh, measles. Itchy. These lucky audience members get a seat upgrade. Just get here earlier. I don't know. And that's not all. Plus. You hear that? An Oscar winner makes a surprise visit. Ellen, Monday at 4 on 9 and 10 News. Now, Northern Michigan's most accurate and reliable forecast from the Doppler 9 and 10 weather team. Welcome back, Northern Michigan. Gaylord, right now, sky is pretty clear, pretty quiet overall. I should not really say clear. They're somewhat cloudy, but the temperatures are cold. Uh, Charlevoix, right now, a degree off the high for the day. 17 degrees, winds 2 miles per hour. Nothing big going on locally. This system's developing. They'll be impacting parts of the area on Sunday. What we're watching for tomorrow and tonight is this weak system rolling southbound. Perhaps a little bit of light snow, maybe up to an inch in a couple locations, but in the end, it's just not a lot. Here's 1 o'clock in the morning, perhaps a little light snow showers there. By around 8 o'clock, still not showing much at all. A lot of this moisture evaporating within the atmosphere. So that's where you find perhaps some thin clouds popping up around Cadillac and Mount Pleasant. That's 8 o'clock in the morning. Throughout the day, a couple pockets of snow showers passing their way southbound. And right here, 
That is an Arctic cold front behind it, lots of dry air. That's 5 p.m., but watch what happens when it pushes southbound. That next system is pushing back north now, so a lot of cold air is in place. That's Sunday morning at 7 a.m., and there's your basic turnoff line from clouds and a bit of sunshine to Cadillac southbound light snowfall developing, going on through a good portion of Sunday. Uh, southern half of the state, in fact, downstate areas could see uh, 4 to 8 inches. Whereas northern Michigan, Mount Pleasant, Cadillac, one to two, maybe three inches. And the farther north you are, cold air, but also dry skies and a bit of sunshine. Tonight, UP in the Straits, those nighttime lows down around one to five degrees. It's cold, but with isolated snowfall tonight and tomorrow. In fact, tomorrow's high is up around normal. Uh, they'll be in the 20s. Our northern lower counties, your lows right there, single digits to low teens. Isolated snow possible, just not everyone seeing it. Same story tomorrow. There's a lot more clouds and maybe some breaks of sunshine. Temperatures mid to upper 20s, maybe even a low 30 in Manistee. And the central low counties, it's, it's cold. Clouds are rolling through, just not much going on for tonight. And tomorrow warming up to about average temperatures. 20s and some low 30s. Winds not an issue at all. A light at 5 to 15 miles per hour. Here's your 7-day forecast. Turning much colder on Sunday, that chance of south, really south of the M55 Cadillac down towards, say, uh, Mount Pleasant, Big Rapids, seeing a bit of snowfall on Sunday afternoon. Monday, lake effect snow, cold, so very limited, not much moisture in the atmosphere, and then scattered snow on Tuesday, and certainly more cold out there for the rest of the week. Thanks, Tom. Jeff Johnson and the rest of the Sports Overtime team are ready to bring you all the action from 20 high school sports games. The original Big Show is up next. Have a great weekend. See the Auto Owners Insurance Doppler 9 and 10 weather station live from the Taylor Insurance Agency in Everett and Farwell. Auto Owners Insurance. Life, home, car, business. We're the no problem people. Tell me more about the Charter Spectrum Triple Play. You mean the best TV, internet, and voice? Charter Spectrum Triple Play. TV. 200 free in sweet HD. 10,000 on demand. It's silly. I'm not just the operator. Ditch to ditch, I'm your liberator. Charter Spectrum TV. Just $29.99. Call. 1-844-59-9999. Charter Spectrum high speed means no slow down. 60 megs. I like the way that sounds. Say goodbye to DSL. Say hello to fast as. Charter Spectrum internet. Just $29.99. Call. one 844 Spectrum Voice Unlimited Talk. Zero fees and features that rock. Crystal clear connection, say hi. Charter Raiders, standing by. Charter Spectrum Voice, just $29.99. Call. One bold choice makes everything change. Introducing the bold new Camry with a commanding stance. Available 18-inch wheels and dual exhausts for more dynamic performance. The most advanced technology and safety features available. Even wireless charging. Toyota Camry. One bold choice leads to another. Now get 1.9 financing plus $700 bonus cash. Or lease this Camry SE for $189 a month. Toyota. Let's go places. And now, another odd moment. Adorable. <laughs> the Odd Couple premieres Thursday, February 19th. Sports Overtime, sponsored by Don's Auto Clinic, Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram and Cadillac. This is a super week for sports, and tonight on Sports Overtime, we're Super 2, thanks for asking. We've got 20 games for you, including second-ranked Beaverton boys. Traverse City West girls also know what it's like to be unbeaten in conference play. They try to keep it up against Cadillac. And for the first time this year, hockey wins our Fans' Choice Game of the Week voting. Thank you for choosing the original big show once again. Sports Overtime starts right now. Good evening and welcome to Sports Overtime. I'm Jeff Johnson. Nobody else in Northern Michigan is bringing you 20 local games from as far south as Gladwin to as far north as Cedarville tonight. 
20 games coming your way, including a handful of teams making their sports overtime debut tonight. I'll tell you who's not making his debut, though. Eric Lloyd, he's a Wiley vet now. Wow, right off the top. First off, I want to take a minute to discuss every one of Beaverton's losses this year. Okay, now that we're done with that, we can move on to tonight's game. Beaverton hosting Sanford Meridian. The Beavers beat the Mustangs earlier this year by 15, but Meridian came out to play. Starting the game on a 7-0 run, here's junior Nick Luter creating his own shot. Beaverton starting slow. The first five minutes, Beaverton couldn't get a shot to fall, but every bounce was coming up Mustangs. Travis Webb can't handle this pass, but Matt Hall is there to clean it up. But Beaverton's undefeated for a reason. Storming back, Spencer Johnson finds his brother Carter, who's able to kick it out to Ryan Duvall in the corner, and he's charging in for the Beavers' first points. Beavers with it again, and Johnson to Johnston yet again. This time, sophomore hit with the big three. The run kicks Beaverton off to the win, 57 to 36. Now, the only team in the Jack Pine within firing range of the Beavers is Claire. The Pioneers are six and one in the Jack Pine, and Pioneers are looking to keep pace while Gladwin has upset in mind. Claire was up big early on, but sloppiness let Gladwin right back in it. Javon Medema saves the loose ball, and it's O'Shea Lewis bringing it the other way, finding a streaking Jacob Shell for the layup, leads now seven. Pioneers want more. Connor Clickner heaves it down to Sam Adkins, inside to Scott Smith, who dumps it down to Max Swan. Teamwork makes the dream work, guys. Even better passing here, Travis Vita to Camden Dice to Adkins to a cutting swan, so pretty and precise, the Pioneers are going to need every bit of that to stay with the Beavers. And oh, wouldn't you know, G's get the ball down quick, and Keegan Hover hits the three to make it a bit closer, but won't be enough. Pioneers prevail 66 to 53. Just as it is in the Jack Pine with Beaverton, the West Michigan D-League is run by one team, the undefeated Onekama Portagers. They've got Bear Lake tonight. We'll start with this game from the beginning. Outside shot is a no-go for the boys in blue, but Caleb Wisniewski grabs the rebound, and it's Portagers up two. Same side of the court, Jonathan Acton to Jarrett Sovereign. He gets the three to go, continuing Onekama's early run. Home team, though, tries to cut into the deficit. Taylor Mikowski passes to Jared Bear inside the lane. Shot is good, that's for two. Then Cole Verrett goes deep to Bear. He'd scoop, score up under the net, and it's not enough, though, tonight. Bear Lake falls 59 to 46. Staying in the league, Crossroads hasn't caught a break lately with back-to-back -back games against Onekama and Baldwin, so tonight they look to bounce back, heading out to Custer to take on Mason County Eastern. Early in the first quarter, Cougars Josh Henderson with the ball, hook passing it to Tate Wicks for the jumper and the early lead. Mason County's going to answer back, though, to tie the game. We've got Hunter Hoffman hitting the long ball. That's good for three. But here come the Cougars. They're coming, and it's Wicks again to swoosh and to take the lead. And the Cougars, they want more. Right here, it's off the steal. It's James Strickland going to be driving down the court, dishing it to Henderson for the easy bucket. Big Rapids Crossroads wins 53-37. to And we also have a couple congratulations to pass along. Forest Area's Austin Vance eclipsed the 1,000 career points tonight in a 52-29 to win against Gaylord St. Mary's. And Frankfurt's David Loney is now the school's all-time leading scorer with 22 points, passing Jay Davidson's record of 1,420 points tonight in a 57-38 win versus Leland. For Sports Overtime, I'm Eric Lloyd. Thank you, Eric. Let's switch over to the ladies. Nobody in the Big North has beaten TC West this year, but Cadillac going to give it another shot. Titans taking control of things early, though. Jody Turnquist capitalizing on an errant pass. Put TC West on the board first with a tough lay-in. A little later, McKenna Ray to Katie Plasick. Titans running the floor again, up 6-0 at this point. They will lead 8-0 after one. In the second, Vikings' Michaela Johns issuing to a cutting Jenna Irway. It's going her way there for a pair. Cadillac showing more inside game. Irway, the passer. Lisa Metzger, the scorer. They're within three, but Titans' Paris Wagner answering back. West wins 31-17. That will do what nobody has ever done. Cross Traverse City in five seconds. Central hosting Gaylord. Trojans up by two at the half. Blue Devils' Casey Cordy going to find Ashley May. We're all knotted up. A little later, more Gaylor. This time, Brandy Wagner finding Casey Cordy. Giving you shall receive. Vikings taking a 21 to 16 lead. Trojans turn up, turn to uh, Kerry Wincoop and start their offense in the second half. Gaylor trying to stretch the lead though. Adrian Edwards hitting the jumper. Blue Devils win 46 34. We still got 10 more basketball games on our plate, but let's freeze them and hit the ice. Four pack of high school hockey is on the way.
I'm Tim Roller from Whitetail Journey. When we choose our hunting equipment, our transportation is vital. And the new Ram 1500 trucks from Don's Auto Clinic, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, and Cadillac provides the quality and value we require. There's a reason why the new Ram 1500 is Motor Trend Truck of the Year and why the Whitetail Journey Pro Staffers love this truck. The reason is simple. It's the best, most affordable truck on the road today. Don's Auto Clinic in Cadillac. Building our business on honesty and integrity for over 50 years. With the lottery's new Lucky for Life, you can win $1,000 a day for life or $25,000 a year for life. Lucky for Life, it's luck that lasts a lifetime. All-terrain vehicles or ATVs are a popular sport for many, but the growing trend of thrill rides often ends tragically. In a special report, we're taking a look at why many riders, despite industry and manufacturer warnings, are still using roads instead of trails, which ATVs are designed for. Investigating the tragic ATV trend in a special report, Thursday on 9 and 10 News at 5. Save up to 65% store-wide during the ABC Warehouse Super Big Sale. Right now, the Sealy Posturepedic Deluxe Queen Set is just $3.97. The deals are always in the house. ABC Warehouse, the closest thing to wholesale. For some babies, first steps are not just a milestone, but a miracle. You can help these babies by joining thousands of families and companies at March for Babies. Sign up, raise funds, and make miracles possible. Welcome back. The first time the sports OT season hockey wins the Fans' Choice Game of the Week. So leading off the second block and getting a little extra time in our show, Sheboygan and Manistee. Yes, sir, double overtime. We hip check the hoops, hit the ice. Chiefs looking for back-to-back -back wins tonight. Early second period, Parker James at the point, feeding Josh Demke in the corner. Going to walk it out and snipe it home. Four zip, Sheboygan. They're doing well early. This game getting pretty physical. Oh, guys falling over each other. Chiefs bringing it again. Matt Gearsdale, the slapper, chips Raymond Schwa standing tall between the pipes and showing some signs of life for the chips. Josh Joshua trying to wrap around, but Carl Bartholomew meeting him right there with the trapper. Less than 10 left in the second. Stemke getting behind the play. All alone, five zip Sheboygan. Manistee getting a quality opportunity, breaking in, letting the laser go. Bartholomew right there getting the rebound to cover up. Less than a minute to go. Chiefs with a stretch pass from Stemke to Adam Jeanette. Off the post for the goal. Post is kind. Sheboygan wins big 6-1. to one. Elsewhere in the hockey universe, Big Rapids looking to avenge an early season loss to Cadillac. Visiting Cardinals get to work early. Garrett Garner, the wrister. Noah Scott, the saver, lays out to keep it scoreless. Midway through the first period, Cadillac's Riley Whalen with the Vikings' first shot on net. Still goose eggs on the board when Brendan Borne passed to himself. Oh, nice move around Levi Rowan. Puck just not finding the net though until James Hundersmark redirecting Jordan Smith's shot. Big Rapids up 1-0. Cardinals flying home with a 4-3 win. Bay Raps seem to have turned a corner as of late. Could they keep it going though for a visit to Gaylord? Just over a minute in, the Raps Carson Altonen wins the battle of the boards, firing the wrister, denting the twine. 1-0 Raps, just like that. Blue Devils answering right back. Just over a minute later, Gage Andrews backhand. To VD Varis on the back post for the goal, tied at one. Gaylor looking to break it though. Jay Jones making the stop, smothering the rebound late in the first. Ardre Denowith getting the puck out of the corner, slipping it inside the far post, but it's Gaylor cruising tonight, six to two. Cadillac and Gaylor playing outside the Big North. Petoskey and Alpina playing a league game. Purple night for the Wildcats as they show support for those fighting cancer. Wildcats getting on the Northmen early and often. Nick. Barani's shot deflected away. Rhett Limbach getting the stick on it. Alpina up one. Goals just keep on coming for Limbach. He takes the assist from Joey Bracken, scores his second of the night later on. Teammates getting in on the action. Jacob Hamp lighting the lamp for Alpina in the second period. Wildcats showing no mercy, taking home a 7 0 victory. All right, give us a couple minutes to thaw the ice. We're playing basketball again in triple overtime, including highlights from the second ranked Cedar Boys. <laughs> At 
GMC, one incredible idea leads to another. And here's our latest thinking. Built-in OnStar 4G LTE Wi-Fi, available on the new 2015 GMC Terrain. Making Terrain one very mobile hotspot. Now GM employees and eligible family members with a current GM vehicle use your Auto Shell bonus and lease this 2015 Terrain for $149 per month. Monday on Michigan This Morning. About 6 million Americans popped the question last year on Valentine's Day. In our Angie's List report, if you're planning on proposing, well, you'll want to know about fine jewelry shopping. And Around the Road crew begins a very special week here on MTM. Monday, we start a week live around Michigan at the Sea Life Aquarium in Auburn Hills. Northern Michigan's number one way to start the day begins with your top stories and the 10-minute weather guarantee in high definition at 4.30 a.m. I'd like to say thank you to everybody who purchased a new Subaru from Subaru by the Bay in 2014, helping us and Subaru set an all-time sales record. And with deals like these, 2015 looks to be even better. Drive a new Outback for $279 a month, Forester for $249 a month, Legacy for $229 a month, or Crosstrek for $259 per month. Stop by and see our great selection of new Subarus. And check out our new sales facility, located halfway between Petoskey and Shalavoy, right on US 31. Subaru by the Bay, doing business a better way. Welcome back to Triple Overtime. When we say nobody covers more Northern Michigan games, we mean it. Exhibit A, we still have 10 local basketball games on our menu, but if you want all the specials, you'll have to ask your server, Shannon McGratton. Jeff, I hope you're hungry for some dominant Highland girls basketball action because tonight, McBain hosts Beale City, sitting one game behind Pine River in its conference standings, making this matchup a must win for the Ramblers. Home team leads 29-10 in the second quarter. Asia Legro, the long ball, she puts her team up 22 points. Two minutes later, Meredith Hamlet steps outside, continuing her team's first half run. Beal City responds, Nicole Gross misses the first shot, but gets her own rebound. Aggies down 18. BC gets to work on defense. Jordan Snyder puts up the denier. Other end of the court, Natalie Gross Banks the final bucket of the half, but Beale City falls 65-33 against McBain. Down the street, McBain NMC tries to continue its three-game win streak. Wildcats start the night of scoring, but nodding this game at three is Melanie Huker. She runs in for her first points of the game. Next bucket comes from Alyssa Whitback. The junior puts her team back on top. End of the first quarter, Mara Van Order grabs the rebound and makes it a three-point game after eight minutes of play. NMC takes control in the second. Brittany Hookwater takes the steal and goes to the rim for two. Comets of Deuce. Then Rebecca Dieterman drops the J. Home team wins 50-39. Same school, different visitor. Lake City boys invading Comets territory. Boys in white end the first half of two, but Lake City's Lucas Marion hits the turnaround jumper. Game tied at 31. NMC answers with a deep shot. Jonathan Perry. Takes his time making the three for a Comets lead. Trojans keep this a close game. Marion tosses in the righty. Lake City down 34-33. 60 seconds later, Perry forces a turnover. Finds Cody far down the court for an easy dose. Home team starts to break away but is unable to hold on, losing 64-61. And in other Highland action, Pine River girls remain unbeaten in conference play after topping Manton 80-58-28. For Sports Overtime, I'm Shannon McGratton. Thank you, Shannon. How much ground do we cover? Well, we're just going 132 miles from McBain to Cedarville. No big deal. The state-ranked Trojans hosting Brimley, running clock in the fourth quarter. That doesn't stop Cedarville's Jared Salvador from playing hard. He's going to put up the rock for two. Sweet jumper there. Sweet cross courts pass from RJ Carrick to Ryan Gravel. Gravel lofting in the triple. Trojans still running and gunning late in the game, though. Salvador again going to make the highlight reel, missing but fighting hard to put it back. Trojans win 73 31. Staying in the UP, Rudyard has what say Ignis wants, second place in the Straits area. Good defense for the start of the game for the Saints. Jeremiah Anderson intercepting the pass, going in for the lane right at us. And it's time to pass the rock. Ends up in Anderson's hands. He's going to drill the three from the corner. Saints have an early five-point lead. Dogs have Zach Staker, though. He scores a lot of points. Case in point right there with a three. And then he's going to get the inbounds pass on the block. 
Little problem banking that one in. Austin Schroeder going hard to the basket, though, getting the nice bounce around the rim for the deuce. This one was a battle with St. Ignace coming out on top, though, 75-65. Mackinac City and Atlanta Boys Basketball making their sports overtime debuts this year. Comets 8-1 on the season. Comets playing volleyball underneath the hoop. Ryan Bailey throwing the baseball pass. Ball works on the basketball court. Zach Peters for the lay-in. Lance's Levi McFarlane going to use a ball screen, then a little hesitation dribble. Going perfectly in for the scoop. That was my move, the hesitation. Mackinac City's Carson Gold Shoes Hartman, toe in the line, knocking down the trifecta. Check out the shoes. It's got to be the shoes. Or he's a good shooter. Later, Hartman paying it forward to Cash O'Brien. Cash is straight money from that distance. Vikings cashing in the win, 45-42. Staying in the Northern Lakes, Vanderbilt boys still looking for their first win, hoping to get it at Harbor Lights. Vanderbilt's Nick Straub has his choice of screens. He's going to choose door number two. That's good for three. Harbor Light responding with Gatlin Rauch. Rainmaker almost hitting the ceiling. Definitely dense twine, though. Back to Vanderbilt and Straub. Three defenders. Not going to stop them. Bucket and one. Then it gets easier. Nobody hanging on them. That's too easy. Another bucket for Straub. Harbor Light with the drive and dish, though. Joey Anderson. Whoa. Off the window and in. Swordsman win big, 62-39. Alba, where you know only great things are going to happen at a place called the Thunderdome. Late in the first, Wolverine's Tyler McNeil following his own shot, grabbing the board, scoring the putback. Visitors up seven in the Thunderdome. Alba continuing that lead. Brandon Milbacher pulling up with a J. Alba down five after one. Three-point game midway through the second. Garrett Farkas converts a nice assist. It's a five-point Wolverine edge. Wildcats from there. Milbacher, smooth baseline fadeaway. Later is Nathan Willett. Three ball. Alba wins, 56-52. Heading down 131, Johannesburg Lewiston looks to complete a season sweep of Mancelona. Midway through the fourth, Ironman up a baker's dozen. Quick passing, Brandon Dingman taking it to the oak for two of his 35 on the night. Joburg trying to shoot their way back. Logan Huff. That's good, pulling the Redbirds within 12. Moments later, off the miss. Brandon Hoff collecting the board, putting it back, cutting the lead to 10, but that's as close as they would get down the stretch. No look feed here from Griffin Borst to Trevor Straight Carper for the deuce. Joburg actually falling a dozen short of Mancelona, 57-45. We end our triple overtime in Husky Country, where earlier this year only five points separated Benzie Central from Sutton's Bay. Benzie Central student section trying to get the team ready for tonight's contest. Husky Zane Brooks finds fellow senior Aaron Whaley. One two step is good for the bucket. Then Devin Capron taking matters into his own hands. Going right to the rim. Sutton's Bay up 24 19. Home team going coast to coast though in the third quarter. Kyle Smith connecting with Austin Purchase. Purchase made there behind the arc though. Lars Thornton dropping the three. We have not had a score dropped in though. If you know it, 1 800 782 7910. 1 800 star 910. Please call. Fair State and Minnesota State Hockey have a little bad blood, though. They met up again tonight in Mankato. We'll let you know how the Bulldogs fared against the third-ranked team in the nation in quadruple overtime. Snowmobilers, get ready for a ride that will change your life and help change others. The Wurtz Warriors invite men and women to join them February 1st through the 7th as they ride 900 miles in seven days. The trip across northern Michigan raises funds and awareness for Special Olympics Michigan athletes. Special Olympics Michigan offers athletes the opportunity to develop physical fitness and experience acceptance and respect. Learn more and sign up by heading to SOMI.org. Starting January 21st, catch Northern Michigan's only live musical variety show, Picnic at the Opera. Up North TV Channel 189 and City Opera House are teaming up again to bring you six free shows showcasing some of the area's best musical talent, artists, and performers. Come enjoy the talents of performers like Jeff Haas, nine-year-old guitar phenomenon Nick Carmen, the hip-hop moves of Soul Step, singer-songwriter Jetty Ray, the Traverse City West Musical Department, plus a whole lot more. You'll find the full schedule through the end of February at upnorthmedia.org. Welcome back. College hockey tonight. Ferris State travels third ranked Minnesota State. Mavs and Bulldogs have a bit of a robbery going. Mavs beating the Dogs in last year's WCHA tournament title game. Teams also had a line brawl last year. So definitely bad blood there. Kyle Shemp, lone goal scorer for the Bulldogs tonight. Minnesota State rolls to a 5-1 win. Mavericks. 
beating the Bulldogs for the third straight game. Their last regular season meeting in this series tomorrow night in Mankato at 8.07 p.m. PGA, anybody hoping to watch Tiger Woods right here on 9 10 this weekend? Sorry, not making the cut. Woods starting his season off with the Phoenix Open for the first time in about 15 years. Never shot this badly for 18 holes in his career. He finished with an 82. Phil Mickelson struggling today, too. Wet conditions might have had it for both of them. He misses the short par putt on three eight strokes back going into the third round. Daniel Berger has a lead at eight under. Hey, if you missed any of the show or just want to see this again, give us about 15 minutes. We have clips of sports overtime up on our website on 9 and 10 newscom Away from the gridiron, a pair of important basketball games this weekend. Ferris State and Saginaw Valley going to play for the lead in GLIAC men's basketball Saturday. Michigan visiting Michigan State for the first time this season. That's going to be Sunday right here on 9 and 10. That's a 1 o'clock start. We'll, of course, have highlights from both of those games on this weekend's editions of 9 and 10 News. Shannon McGratton will have it all figured out there for you. You know what? Thank you for watching another edition of the original Big Show. David Letterman is next.